Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna discuss how I currently use the Wampler Tumnus. Before we get started, please do not forget to do all of the things to help this channel grow. Like this video, subscribe and comment below, and be sure to hit the bell icon so you get an alert every single time I upload a video. Without further ado, let's get started. So I recently uploaded the video where I explain how I currently use the JHS Morning Glory. I'll link it right here. It's a great pedal and I've been using it for so long now, but it made me realize that there's another drive that I've been sort of recently using. And when I say recently, I do mean within the last couple of years, but it's still a recent addition because it was something that I wasn't really doing in the past. And that's using a Klon style pedal. Before I tried a Klon style pedal, I have to admit something to you. I was never interested in trying one because I was so skeptical about the price point of the original clans that were out there and i just thought to myself there's no way that this pedal could sound that good or be that good and i'm just not interested in even trying it i still have never tried a real clan but i did get my hands on the wampler tumnus and was blown away i couldn't believe that i had not tried a clan style pedal this whole time simply because of the myth behind it and the legacy behind it versus just wanting to just use my ears for the particular pedal because that's what it deserved my actual ears not the myth and the story that comes behind the pedal it was the sound that i had been hearing in my head the whole time now full disclosure i can use this pedal in a multitude of ways i can use it with less gain and as and i can use it as a first stage drive i could use it how i currently use it right now which is sort of like a secondary drive for me or i can crank it and really just go for that high gain sound with it it's so versatile and it just interacts so perfectly with every other pedal that i've ever paired it with as well as every guitar that i've ever used to play through it so now i want to show you the settings that i currently have on this pedal i also want you to hear what the pedal sounds like without any of the fluff behind it i'm going to take off reverbs delays i'm also going to take off my compressor even though i always have my compressor on along with this pedal maybe i'll put it on later on down in the video but for now i want you to hear what this pedal sounds like without anything else just my guitar going straight into the pedal so as you can see up on the screen the gain is at a about one o'clock I keep my treble at about neutral so it's about 12 o'clock and then the volume believe it or not is at about like nine o'clock I know it seems low but it seems like it's sitting in just the right place I do have it boosting from my normal clean sound a little bit so let me show you what my guitar sounds like without anything on and then we'll add the drive on top of that What I love about the ton, this is how universal it is. A lot like the JHS Morning Glory, it's very touch sensitive. So honestly, I could play this thing just a little bit softer and kind of get clean tones out of it. But if I dig in, it definitely gets aggressive and you can hear the gain starting to build up. Now what I love about the setting that I currently have it in is that like I said I can play softly with it and it'll sound good and almost sound clean but if I dig in it'll it'll press a little bit and push a little bit. I also love that I can use it on different pickup positions and I currently am using it on the bridge pickup but I can still go into the neck pickup and do lead lines with it and I like the way that sounds like as well. So keep in mind I would normally do this with delays and reverbs so I'm just going to do it with just the ton this on right now. But now, as promised, I do want to show you how I'm truly using this pedal now. I'm not just using it on its own. As I've said in plenty of videos before, I love compression. I always have compression on. So I'm going to add my compressor. I'm using the Walrus Audio Deep 6 compressor. I'll show the settings on the pedal as well. So this is the compressor going into the Tumnus. I'm going to go back onto my bridge pickup here. <laughs> As I mentioned before, I really love how this pedal plays with other pedals. I love that I can put 
pedals in front of or behind this pedal and and it sounds good and it plays well that means a lot to me especially because i love using compression and now i can use that compression to push the pedal a little bit more and as you can hear it's adding almost a little bit more bite to it a little more grit a little more gain um, and a little little more top end clarity to my ears while we're talking about stacking pedals i want to reintroduce now a pedal that i talked about before which is the jhs morning glory i want to play through my normal crunch sound which consists of the walrus audio deep six compressor going into the jhs morning glory which goes into the wampler tumnus <laughs> I like using the Tumnus also for my solo tone. I like that it kind of adds this warmth, but still hits the mid range frequencies that I love specifically with my guitar tone. So I'm going to turn off the morning glory now. Now we're going to keep the compressor on going into the Tumnus and then we're going to add the Ibanez Tube Screamer Mini. And that's where I tone shape a little bit and again push a, that mid range frequency a little bit more. So I get the gain, but I also maintain clarity. So I wouldn't say I'm 100% using it for like metal stuff, but it definitely does the job when it comes to solo stuff. But now would I be showing you how I truly use this pedal without introducing delays and reverbs? Absolutely not. I'm gonna start a little bit from the beginning. I'm gonna keep the compressor on and just to tum this, then I'll add the morning glory for my crunch sound and then I'll add the tube screamer for my solo sound so you could hear all of that with the delays and reverbs on so that you can get the real understanding of how I use this pedal pretty much from A to Z. So that's pretty much it. That's how I use this pedal. Very simplistic approach. Obviously, it, I'm not using an overdrive in a special way that no one else is, but I will say I'm just so thankful to have a pedal like this on my pedal board. I know that there are other style pedals like this out in the market, but I try not to drive myself too crazy with trying to try every single version of the same kind of pedal. Not to say that it can't be fun, but it definitely would drive my OCD mad. Do me a favor, comment below. Let me know if you're using this pedal or a similar pedal. Maybe you're using a version that you think may be better than the Wampler Tumnus, or you're using it in a way that I'm currently not using it. I love to know your thoughts and your opinions. I always interact with everyone in the comment section, so please do me a favor, leave that comment below. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do all the things to help this channel grow. Like this video, again, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit the bell icon so you get an alert every single time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching and until next time.